So I'm here today guys with a very important message. Leave Steph Curry alone. The man is already a living legend. He's arguably top 10 basketball players of all time, despite the fact that he has no clutch gene when it actually matters. But on a serious note, Steph Curry is someone who came in and absolutely changed the way that the game is being played. He's the reason that you have little eight year old kids chucking up 40 foot jump shots and they're actually going in. And overall, while he's been a superstar in the NBA, he's always held himself with a very high level of pride, both on and off the court, never being involved in a single scandal, and basically just always being a good guy. Now in this life, one of those things that you can't choose is your family, and his parents of all people were actually the very first to embarrass him. They had this very long relationship, they birthed two NBA players. I feel like everyone had a pretty good image of them. That is until they got this nasty divorce and the ex-wife ends up dating his best friend of like 40 years, someone who they both knew extensively for a very long time. And they kind of came out with all of that to the public while Curry was making his last NBA championship run. And when it comes to the embarrassments of Steph Curry, it really doesn't stop there. I feel like when Steph first started going off and winning NBA championships, everyone was loving both him and his family. He was bringing the baby to the press conference. His wife had her cooking show. She was obviously a very passionate fan, calling the NBA finals rigged on Twitter. All because her husband couldn't hit a clutch shot. Steph, why are you passing the ball behind your back? But now at this point, she has embarrassed this man a couple of times, and I'm gonna kinda show you what I'm talking about today. So despite this clip being over a year old, it actually recently went viral where Aisha Curry went on uh, The View or The Real, you know, one of these daytime shows for women. And people are now calling this clip controversial. Aisha, I think it's time for a drink. What do you say? <gasps> yeah, absolutely. Yes, we get to drink. Marcel? Hi. Marcel? Oh. So they bring out the uh, drink man, Marcel shirtless muscled up black man okay they probably rub some oil on his body as well and this is where the uh controversy ensues so that right there is why this clip is going viral okay first off you have the shot of the crowd these women are getting juiced up and then he got a yeesha and she's saying, oh, you know, I'm taking off the ring for the night. I see this muscled up man. I'm not married. It's kind of the insinuation of what is going on. So they're all loving Marcel. Let's be real. So obviously she's messing around. She's trying to have a good time on this woman's talk show. She's trying to be funny. But a lot of people did find that move to be disrespectful. I mean, I do have to say, imagine Steph went on the like All The Smoke podcast, for example, and they were like, oh, it's, you know, time to bring out the drinks. It's time to bring out the cigars. Natasha, bring them out. And then some, you know, stripper looking girl comes out, big double D knockers. Steph's going like this with the ring. He's pretending to motorboat her or some shit. I just feel like the optics of that would not uh, end very well for that man. And I do feel like this type of behavior is embarrassing for him. And the other thing I wanted to say is I feel like that last clip got way blown out of proportion because of these comments that Aisha had made a couple years back after she went on the red table talk of all places with Satan herself. I'm telling you guys, do not go around this woman, okay? She's like the Madame Zeroni of this celebrity world. I summon you 10 years of bad luck. For you, Steph Curry, 12 years of cuckery. Something that really bothers me and like honestly has given me a sense of a little bit of an insecurity is the fact that, yeah, like there are all these women like throwing themselves, but me, like the past 10 years, like I don't have any of that. Like I have zero, this sounds weird but like male attention Ugh. and so then you like i begin to internalize it. it and i'm like you're, is something wrong with you're me not, like you're, you're not, not looking, looking. What? you're not, uh. you're not you're even not but i'm gonna tell you something and you notice how they even tried to like save her everyone at the table's kind of thinking like where is this going and they're like oh that's where it's going let us try and save you, you don't want that male attention do you and she's like 
Maybe. Did you see Marcel? Because when these comments were made, the internet was going absolutely bonkers. And people were basically saying, you're with this guy, okay? He's an NBA legend. Tall, handsome guy. He's rich. He's giving you a family. He's probably pretty much giving you everything you could ever want. And you're still out here sad because there's not males giving you attention on a daily basis. I'm pretty sure after this she even posed nude in some sort of magazine. And I really think that ever since this moment people have definitely just looked at her different. Because I dealt with that for years too. Like, and I was young. Like you. Yeah, I'm like, like that's oh my not god. Fair. I mean. Because I don't what? want it. But yeah. it would be nice to know that like. Someone's looking. But that when you get dangerous, turned that's, off, yeah. right, that you're beautiful. Get real Don't dangerous. ever think for one minute that it ain't no some men out there looking at you like I wish. Honestly. And, and I'm gonna tell you who knows that more than anybody. Oh my God, Jada is just so insufferable. I mean, seriously, Ayesha, you want to feel good about yourself? Go walk down the street in some tight clothing. Go walk by some construction sites. And I promise you, at some point, you will get some male attention. And so while I do think people are kind of blowing that last clip out of proportion, I do kind of get why people have that reaction when she said things like this in the past. And so it just does kind of go to show that once you've made some sort of quote and embarrassed your partner or embarrassed yourself or you know, had some sort of controversy, you really do have to watch the way you're going to move going forward because it can always come back around and rear its ugly head. I don't know if it's some sort of light skin curse that you're just going to be, you know, one of the best of all time on the field like Patrick Mahomes and Steph Curry, but then off the field, you know, you're not going to even be involved in controversy, but it's actually going to be your family who's constantly fucking your shit up. Either way, I want to know what you guys think about this down below. Do you think it's a big overreaction by the general public, or do you think there's more going on behind the scenes? Do you think that there's a Sneeko chair in Curry's house? Either way, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like, and subscribing. But as you guys know, it's been your boy the Tan Superman, and some other super freaks like Aisha out here need to be covered, so I'm out. Peace.